get started then and with a very simple opening question which is basically welcome to Bloodstock how are you feeling? Very good. Yeah? That's a lie. No, that's ve yes, that's we very much a lie. I, I feel like shit actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm very very hungover. I can barely keep it together right now actually. Yeah. We say, me and Jokke stayed up until seven, seven o'clock this morning, I no! think. Yeah, it was a good times. Good you times. the rule. Yeah. Never go that hard and heavy. First day? No. Uh, no. Oh, you've been here since Thursday? No. Oh, okay. No, yeah, okay. In that first day in England. Yeah, yeah we yeah. arrived last night. And yeah. Then we had a feeling. We, yeah, we got some feeling. Uh, I co see coffee, coffee, but... This is, this is, uh, this is a, a non-brand beer. Oh, okay, yeah. right, so hair and the dog stuff, as we say in England. Yeah. You're feeling a bit hungover having a drink, yes? Yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm glad you're feeling great, because what a special moment this is. In particular, um, the circumstances to leading to you get to play Bloodstock was incredible in itself. But now, of course, Sophie Lancaster stage. Yeah. Headliners. Uh, We'll do our best to honor her memory, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it's 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 great, and it's, it, like also we had a, a great deal of luck. We we're, yeah. we're like, I, I can't remember the, the original play time. Oh, you basically, were you were same stage, yeah, a little bit earlier middle, on. Yeah, of course, the Leonardo were originally going to be playing in that yeah. position. Yeah, they they swapped day or mm. something like that, yeah. and we we got to headline that stage. So. That's great. <laughs> We're super glad about that. Yeah. When you got that email, phone call, text message, however it was, to say, "Hey, we now want you to do this." Yeah, that that was uh, like five minutes before going up on stage uh, on yeah. on uh, Masters of Rock in <laughs> Czech Republic, and like we said, "Yes, <laughs> we no want question. that." No, 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 no. Like, uh, uh, yes, do we get more money? Probably <laughs> not. No, no. It's like. Uh, but we said yes, and then we started to ask questions, basically. But yeah, like, I do it for free. I love this shit. Yeah, for sure. What's your relationship like with Bloodstock? Have they been treating you well so far? Ah, we just arrived. It's hard to tell, really. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, so, but I hope so. Yeah. Like, we, we just, like, arrived one, yeah, one hour we ago, and we... had a really good impression yeah. of the festival so far. I have uh, never been here, and, you know, it's uh, looking really good. Yeah, so I'm looking like, forward to go grab myself a beer after this, actually, yeah. and some yeah. food. Of course, it's all about preparation as well. Yeah. Yeah. Are you expecting, I mean, do you have any expectations on who is going to show up, how busy the tent's going to be? Have you been over to the tent? Yeah, no. yeah. yeah, I haven't. Oh, oh. which tent? No, we're, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, we're, we're parking. playing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were behind the stage, actually, yeah, yeah. checking it out. So, yeah. so you got an idea? Yeah, yeah I think it's going to be great. Yeah. And, like, I, actually, I'm pretty glad, like, the, the weather is a fickle mistress, mm. so a tent is great. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, like it's been raining on and off the whole day, so who knows what the weather is going to be like? So tent is probably Maybe better. We should hope for rain, so people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come, come so we can there, reach you know? reach uh, some new people. Yeah. yeah. But remember, we are English. We're used to rain. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's true. Always got that. Yeah. Are you aware that bloodstock crowds love? I love a band that they can, let's say, move to, to dance to, to have a good time to. No idea. Ah, yes. But, uh, that, uh, that option is available at yes. our show. Yes, yeah. that's, that's exactly the, the point. Them, so. <laughs> Did you see the buzz when you know when you got announced that you were playing it? Did you pay attention to the social media buzz that basically said, oh my god, we're so excited? <laughs> No, oh, no. Really? no, I haven't seen that. I haven't so. seen uh, anything about that. I can tell you that. <laughs> Every, there is a lot of excitement around oh, the nice. show tonight. I'm expecting that tent to be absolutely packed out. Oh. Well, is there anything that you're going to bring different to what you would normally do to this show? Do, anything that's out of the ordinary for a Brothers of Metal show? Well, it's, it, we have some new so like, or we, we played, uh, we did the tour in September yep. with Glory Hammer and Arion. Uh, so, basically play twice as long so obviously there's gonna be some songs never played in the UK before yeah. um, but show wise I there's this is a bigger stage yeah. than on, on the tour like uh, the tour stages were some were good and some yeah. were quite small and uh, like we're eight people on the stage so we need a we, you need room. Yeah, <laughs> we need room. we're always gonna try to like uh, bring our best you know in the bring on a good show, you yeah. know, and I think it's going to be a lot of uh, 
jumping and dancing and stuff, <laughs> as you said. You know? no, 100%. <laughs> but also, also, it's like uh, in a tent, so we can't do too much of uh, a pyro fire show, mm. obviously. Limitations, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so. Uh, the music will speak for itself. That's yeah. yeah. I'm hoping they have a great light guy, because we, <laughs> we, did, we didn't bring one. No. <laughs> it is pretty spectacular yeah. over there. We've seen bands play there over the years, doing massively different shows. It's always a unique environment. You guys are perfect for it. I mean, nice. guys, you're perfect for the Roddy James Dio stage, the main stage itself. And that is obviously in the future when you come back the next time. Yeah. Is, is that a thought that even enters your head? Considering, you know, you don't have a long relationship with Bloodstock, this is the starting of getting to know us and them. Do you see that stage in the future? Yeah, for sure. That would be amazing. I mean, uh, I haven't actually seen it, but uh, I have. I have. But I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing it's pretty great. Yeah, yeah we're just there. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, it, like the the worst thing about today is that we need to prepare for our show yeah. when, when Meshuga is playing. Yeah. That's that's uh, my that's the backlash of the year. Like, if if we would have played our original time, we could have played, had our signing session, and then watched Meshuga. Now we miss them, sadly enough. And we also missed in flames. Yeah. The yes. curse of clashes, guys. Yeah. yeah. But ultimately as well, the exciting thing about that is you will be setting up an after Meshuggah, there is nobody else. You are it. Yeah. There is nobody else playing. So you have a choice. Fans of listeners have a choice. And see nothing? We'll see you guys. You're guaranteed, like the first band in the morning and the last band at night, to get yeah. an audience based off yeah. that. Yeah. 2023 overall, bear in mind we're, we're now in August. Um, when you reflect on it so far, has it, do you think it's been a successful year? Brothers of Metal, are you satisfied with what you've accomplished so far? I mean, <laughs> we, we, we finished our third album, mm -hmm. uh, so that's been the main focus of the year. Uh, so we, we haven't played a lot. Uh, like, this is our, if you count, like we did a, a thing with a symphony orchestra in yeah. Sweden, yeah. One, just one song, and, and, and then we played two festivals this is our third festival so we didn't play much this year next year is going to be uh, yeah we have uh, we way have more. way way more <laughs> next year i would expect you to dance around that. of course i don't expect you to tell me what you're doing next year but it is fantastic yeah but uh, yeah but uh, so uh, one thing is for sure um, official it's uh, we're doing a tour with uh, beast in black and glory hammer in uh, january february across Europe and yep. last show will be in London so that is there yeah, th that's uh, yeah. for, for all the British fans London yeah it's yeah. spectacular to hear that you are keeping this busy that's all yeah. we want to hear that openly there's momentum behind you have this new album ready to go you have these tours and stuff next year and festivals yeah. and so on because we we came out of Covid yeah. during that period with almost confusion how do we restart the yeah. industry how do we get going again did you did you did you struggle yeah. to kind of get your footing again? Yeah, but, but actually, I was talking about that in another uh, interview. But actually, the gig, uh, the first gig we did after the pandemic, were like uh, the one in Stockholm. Yeah. For me, that was like one of the best gigs uh, yeah. ever. It was so fun, you know. Yeah. That was. Yeah, uh, I, you realized how much it, I think I actually cried. <laughs> after yeah, that yeah, show. I like, missed it. You know, but yeah, I missed amazing. it so much. Yeah, it was tons of fun, and. and uh, Actually, the pandemic hit kind of bad for us uh, because we were like uh, we did our first European tour with uh, Elven King, mm. uh, like co-headlining tour, and that was super much fun. And we had a ton of stuff planned, and like two months later, there was a lockdown. Yeah. So it was yeah. like. I'm also pretty sure all of us caught COVID on, on that uh, yeah. tour. Like, uh, we, we came home, it was like early February-ish 2020, and we came home and everyone was like... Oh, <coughs> yeah. I, I wasn't yeah. myself for at least two or three weeks, yeah. so yeah. that was probably what it was. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here you stand. Here we stand in 2023. It's August 2023. Bloodstock is happening again. You guys are headlining the Sophie Lancaster stage, which is an incredible feat, and people are so stoked to see you. If you can, in two or three words, sum up Brothers of Metal live. Give me the shortest way you can give it. <laughs> oh, two oh. or three words. Yeah. Yeah. Three words. Mm, please bring meat. <laughs> please bring meat, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. 
What like, meat? <laughs> mead. 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 Oh, mead. Mead. mead makes more yeah. sense. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Did you do sell it here? Oh, yeah, I think you're gonna get a half because it's so strong. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so it is here, absolutely. Guys, you're gonna absolutely smash it tonight. I have utmost faith in you. The people are very excited to see you. Can't wait to see you guys play live. Thank you so much for taking the time. <laughs>